Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am very excited to be doing a collab with Betty Jean. Her She goes by the name Beauty Bean here on YouTube and her channel is one of my favorite channels to watch. She does so many reviews and tutorials. She does a lot of like multiple looks, one palette videos which I'm always really really inspired by and I especially love her makeup style. It is very colorful and then again she does a lot of like really like intense really dramatic wings and like really full lashes which I absolutely love. She also does a lot of like uh, reviews and things when it comes to indie brands. If you're interested in that I would highly, su highly suggest, see I'm so excited I can't even speak, I'd highly suggest watching her channel. I'll put it down below. But today we are collabing and we're doing the makeup shopping tag. Now um, I saw this tag and I instantly wanted to do it with Betty Jean. I mean the questions were fascinating and I felt like she could relate to a lot of the questions in here as well which is why we're doing it together. We're combining forces and we're doing this tag together and it's going to be epic. But this tag was created by Chic Geek here on YouTube. I took the liberty of checking out Chic Geek's channel for myself and I have seen that she does a lot of minimalist uh, makeup themed videos. She does a lot of panning videos so if you're interested in that check her out. I'll put her videos down below. I'll put her original tag video and her channel down below and I will also be putting Betty Jean's channel down below as well as the accompanying video to this particular Particular collab with her. Let's just get started with the very first question. Where do you shop for makeup? I actually do most of my makeup shopping online and the reason for this is I feel like it's a lot easier for me personally to uh, reduce my um, my impulse buying urge when I'm buying things online because I'm able to sort of like save the page for later. I'm able to like sort of like sit back and actually like ponder whether or not this is an actual uh, worth it kind of purchase. If you're new to my channel you probably don't know this but I am somebody who takes a long time to buy certain things. I am somebody who loves to weigh the pros and cons of every purchase before I go for something. I am very considerate in that aspect. I want to make sure that I'm spending my money wisely especially when it comes to makeup so that's why whenever I go into a store I kind of feel a little bit pressure to buy something you know because either you are um, having a sales associate help you or you're seeing like all this amazing makeup and you're just watching it and you're getting so tempted but then when I go online Yes, it's sometimes difficult to like resist the temptation online as well, but I feel like online I can sort of like save the page for later, I can sort of come back to it, I can consider whether or not I actually want to purchase an item before I do so, I can look at reviews, and that's why buying things online is so much more easier for me. Also, so many indie brands have online websites and are not necessarily available in store, which is why since I have been on this indie brand kick, uh, which hasn't gone away, I usually buy most if not all of my makeup online. I feel like the only things that I don't really buy online would be like drugstore items and that's pretty much it. Number two, what is your budget, high end or drugstore prices? My budget is if anything is above like say $50, I'm not gonna get it, okay? You know, that's just how I am. For me, the cheaper, the better, you know? I am willing to spend a little bit more um, on, say, eyeshadows or, like, certain lip products. Um, but, like, most of my makeup that I like to get is uh, at a drugstore price. I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup. I want to make sure that I'm getting good quality items for a lower price point. So I would say that my cap is, like, $50 to $60.00. And that's pretty much it. That's my budget for like all makeup. When it comes to drugstore, like if it's over like $15 to $20, I'm not going to get it. It's just not worth it for me. Or if it's like a drugstore brand, it's got to be at a drugstore price. And for me, anything that's between like $15 to $20 or even above that, it's just not a drugstore price for a drugstore product. So I tend to stick to products that are under $15 even better products that are under $10 when I'm shopping at the drugstore. But then of course, um, my overall limit is about $50. Number three, do you shop more online or in store? 
I accidentally answered this question earlier, but yes, I do shop online. It's just more convenient for me. I'm able to consider what I'm buying and make less impulse purchases, which of course is good for me, especially since I'm on a low buy, which is very important for me because I like to save money and make sure I'm only getting things that I actually really, really, truly want and not just want because it's hyped up or because I'm just like caught up by the marketing or you know you get what I mean. Number four, do you go makeup shopping with other people? I mean I have bought makeup when I'm with someone else and I hardly ever actually go makeup shopping with somebody else intentionally you know. I prefer to be a little bit of a lone wolf. I like doing things on my own especially when it comes to like makeup shopping because I feel like if I go into an Ulta or to a Sephora it's gonna take a while, all right? And if I'm with my friends or like if I'm with my sister, like they all know it's gonna take me a while. So usually what ends up happening is um, I just like to go in by myself because I wanna make sure that I'm not like making anybody else feel awkward about like standing somewhere for like a very long time or waiting for me for a very long time. But yeah, I like to shop for makeup alone because then I'm able to sort of like really get into it and really like just weigh the pros and cons of everything because I tend to be a a little bit like makeup obsessed and I get very excited and then it takes me a very long time to get out of a store which is why for the sake of my um, my um, accompanying person's sanity I just tend to make, do my makeup shopping mostly alone so there's that. How do you talk yourself out of a purchase? Um, I'm actually very good at that. <laughs> I actually like to uh, basically look at uh, reviews, I like to look at people's tutorials, I like to compare the item that I'm purchasing with um, other items that are already in my collection and see how they uh, compare and see how it works. If it's super similar to something I already own, I usually just steer away from it. I also like to look for products that are a little bit more unique. I definitely try and look for things that are uh, well priced. Uh, for me, like I don't really believe in um, spending more money than you actually have, you know, so that's like a big factor for me. I mean, if you guys watch my Will I Buy It videos, you see me, you see me talking myself out of makeup products on a weekly basis because it happens in every single video. I'm very, um, I feel like I'm very good at basically uh, convincing myself that I don't need a certain item. And if I convince myself that I actually do need something, then that means that it's probably going to be something that's actually fantastic and that I can actually get joy from, you know? So yeah, I mean, if it's something I can dupe in my collection, if it's something that I know I actually won't use, if it's something that isn't up to um, my standards of quality, it's not going to be purchased by me. What makeup product is your favorite to buy? Eyeshadows. I love buying eyeshadows particularly eyeshadow palettes. I will go crazy for eyeshadow palettes and I have done so in the past multiple times. I love eyeshadows. They're my favorite thing. I love them so much. They're so much fun to purchase and yeah, I'm always just obsessed with them. Number seven, what brand are you loyal to? Um, I'm actually not really loyal to any brand. I feel like it's very important to make sure that you're not loyal to any brand because a brand is a business and no matter how much a brand loves their customers, no matter how dedicated they are to their customers, a brand is trying to run a business and guess what? You're the consumer. So I feel like it's very important to like certain brands but at the same time I don't want to say that oh yeah I am absolutely loyal to this brand and no other brand because I like to just like dip my toes into different pools. It sounds so disgusting but yes you get what I mean right? I feel like if there is one brand that I'm sort of kind of maybe almost loyal to I feel like that brand would be ColourPop because I have so many ColourPop things and I've bought from ColourPop so much. So many of my items, like so many of my products that I have are from ColourPop and I just love the brand. So if there's a brand that I'm loyal to or that I can be a little bit loyal to or that I'm almost loyal to, it would be ColourPop. The next question is, what other things do you spend fun money on? Um, I actually... I'm not somebody that likes to shop a lot. Um, I don't really like, <laughs> I say this a lot and I know it sounds so boring, but I'm not somebody that likes to spend a lot of money. I just, I'm just not. Um, for me, like treating myself is going out like once a week and getting like a tub of ice cream. Like that is, that is treating myself 
for me, you know? I also do love to go thrifting, you know? I, I like finding like certain really beautiful, fun pieces at a thrift shop, you know? I, I like having that um, joy of finding uh, like a new item that I can give like a second home to. And then of course I love like food and I love, you know, treating myself to like um, some like fast food every now and then and like ice cream, I love that. But yeah, like most of my fun money, if you will, is spent on makeup. Like I love makeup, it is my thing. I also love books, but I haven't actually bought like a new book in a while. I probably should get back into that. But yeah, I mean like I don't spend my money on a lot of things. I would say that I spend fun money on like uh, thrifting, uh, well, books every now and then, and ice cream, and food. But yes, I'm just like, I'm a basic person. I'm a basic person. I love my makeup, and I love other things, but I'm pretty conservative when it comes to my spending habits, which is something I'm very proud of. All right, number nine, who influenced you to buy the most makeup? Oh my gosh. The internet. The internet, definitely, because everybody around me in my life is like, yeah, Anya, it's great that you have all this makeup, but you have a lot of makeup. I don't think anyone is trying to influence me to buy more makeup. I think it's kind of the opposite. Uh, but I think that if anybody is influencing me to buy makeup, it's probably the amazing people on the internet, you know, also known as, you know, beauty influencers. I get tempted by a lot of people's videos and a lot of people's tutorials and get ready with me's and hauls and launches. I just get really tempted by that. So that's what's like, that's what really just tempts me to buy new makeup, like seeing fellow creators uh, show off like amazing, like beautiful products. And I'm like, oh, I want that so bad, you know? And then I end up getting it. So that's what influences me to buy more makeup. The next question, number 10, what was your last purchase? I feel like my low buy is working because I actually can't remember the last item that I purchased. A few moments later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what I purchased. The last makeup item that I actually purchased myself was mascara. And that was about uh, one month ago, two months ago. I have to get another one soon. But yes, I got um, this mascara right here, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara that I love and use all the time. But yes, that is the end of this tag. Those were all the questions. Um, I just love talking about makeup and consumerism and spending habits. And like this tag sort of combines all those things um, into like one like little wonderful bundle of questions. But yes, of course, please be sure to check out Chic Geek's channel and especially please go and check out Betty Jean's channel as well. I have been such a fan of Betty Jean for a very, very long time. She has so many videos and she works so hard on her channel. I'd highly suggest going and checking her out and subscribing. But yes, I'll put everyone's channels that I just mentioned down below, of course. And I also really do love to um, go through their videos or go through people's videos and choose like my favorites. Um, I'm actually not familiar with uh, Chic Geek's channel as much but I'll go and uh, check out her videos and pick a few of my favorite ones. But I already have like in my head a few of my favorite Betty Jean Bean videos that I absolutely love. So uh, yes, those videos will definitely be down in the description box below. And also thank you so, so much Betty Jean for collaborating with me, for agreeing to do this collab. I absolutely love your channel. You know this. And honestly, like seriously guys, Betty Jean is such like a wonderful, like beautiful person and her artistry is so inspiring and so like fresh and so interesting. Her makeup looks are always on like the darker and mood moodier, colorful side and I'm honestly just fascinated by her channel. So if you haven't already, please go check her videos out because she is just freaking awesome and I absolutely love her. So yes, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for- That was a crow that basically just like squawked. <laughs> but yes, where was I? That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.